We're going to be there every single step of the way, engaging folks in the city to help clean it up, make it more beautiful. Long-term care legislation passed in 2019. And because this legislation impacts businesses, it mattered a great deal to us as a chamber. Thank you, Chair Dolio and committee members. My name is Lars Erickson. I'm here on behalf of the Seattle Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce and our more than 2,500 members. Truly, as you just heard, a $10,000 cash grant from Comcast can be the difference for a business that is facing closure. Seattle's Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce ran a survey called the Index. They do it twice a year. This is what their most recent results show. The voters are very aligned on their top concerns, which are addressing homelessness, public safety, and affordability. Many leaders want to reverse this trend. They want to find a fix for the issues that downtown faces. People on these panels include people from the Downtown Seattle Association, Seattle Chamber. Frustration over public safety is evident in a new EMC research poll commissioned by the Downtown Seattle Association and the Seattle Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce. Metro Chamber released data from its latest quality of life index the poll asked people what they are most frustrated or concerned about. Homelessness was number one, followed by crime, drugs, public safety, then cost of living and housing. But there's some intentionality around being in the office. And so whether or not they have a requirement to be in, in the office three days a week or two, if they don't have that, they still are asking employees to come in, but with very for in, intentional purposes. The Seattle Chamber of Commerce is also hopeful this change will help boost small businesses like Lady Young. And I'll have you answer a few questions here first. A statement reads in part, Amazon's decision to bring workers back into the downtown core at least three days a week is a welcome demonstration of community leadership. These things also matter to Rachel Smith, CEO of the Seattle Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce. There was a missed opportunity to rebuild some of the trust with the public on public safety. Also last March, we did a deep dive into homelessness, how the regional approach was, yes, the tough one, but also the right one, and that we are clear-eyed in our approach. We know from our most recent installment of the index, which is the Chamber's public opinion research on quality of life issues, that 67% of Seattle voters support more housing in their own neighborhoods, and 80% support policies that make it easier to build new housing near transit and commercial areas in their cities. We must keep attracting and growing the kind of jobs that create prosperity for individuals and drive the economy across the region. We also need to have the kind of jobs that generate the tax base that government relies on. Businesses generate over 60% of the general fund tax base in the city of Seattle, for example. A point our leaders would do well to center in their policy decisions. Now, the Seattle Chamber of Commerce, which is hosting today's cleanup along with Together Washington and the Seattle Mariner, says the city could see 100,000 visitors during the All-Star Games. Rachel Smith with the Chamber says big events like the All-Star Game is a way to bring people together and that's worth celebrating. We want to encourage people to be buoyed by the, the good things that we're seeing and continue to, to hold leaders accountable and make sure that we make even more progress and that we make it more urgently.